In this video, I've got five amazing, simple Jack Daniels cocktails for you. I'm rec recreating their country cocktails, their RTDs. Stay tuned. Hey, drinks fans, I am Steve the Barman and I give you cocktail and drinks inspiration around some of your favorite brands. So if you like the sound of that, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then feel free, I'd love it if you dived into more of my content. In today's video, uh, I'm going Jack Daniels. Now, Jack Daniels, uh, these are very simple serves. Jack Daniels in the US have got their range of RTDs called Country Cocktails. We obviously can't get them in the UK, but I just wanted to try and recreate uh, five of them. I think there's seven maybe in the range. Uh, so the ones I'm going to do for you are, uh, we've got the Cherry Limeade, the Southern Peach, uh, the Lynchburg Lemonade, which is easy, I've done that a few times. Then I've got a Watermelon Punch and the Berry Punch. I couldn't kind of work out without tasting it, without off having it, what the Downtown Punch was. And the other one's just JD and Coke with a bit of lemon in there or lime, whatever it was. So we're gonna have some fun, very, very simple serves for you and great ways to enjoy JD other than JD and Coke. So uh, the first one we're gonna do, uh, obviously, these are all highball glasses. I'm just going to whack them in different highball glasses for you. Uh, I'm going to shake these all down, but you could just make these straight in the glass. No right or wrong. So, uh, first ingredient, and this is going to be pretty much a standard with all of these. The first one we're going for is the cherry lime aid for you. Uh, so, 45 ml, one and a half ounces of uh, Jack Daniels, just their normal JD. Now the cherry, there's a few different ways you could go for the cherry. Uh, you could use cherry puree, which we can get quite easily in the UK. Uh, you could use cherry, a cherry liqueur, cherry brandy. Um, this, I wanna, I'm gonna use this in this video because I wanna get rid of it because I wanna get a proper one, cherry earring or something like that. Or you could use the cherry syrup or the cherry juice from maraschino cherries. There's no right or wrong for this. I'm just gonna use, um, the cherry brandy bowls. Don't think of it as like a cherry liqueur. Don't think of it as brandy. So I'm going 15 ml, half an ounce of your cherry liqueur. There we go. And then, so that's our kind of cherry. Now, obviously, we need to make the lime aid part of this. So I'm going for some freshly squeezed lime juice uh, for this. And I'm going 22 and a half, which is a three quarters of an ounce. Freshly squeezed. I want some sugar just to kind of bring the sweetness out of it. Uh, so I want, what am I going for? I'm going 15, half an ounce. That's that. And then the final ingredient is obviously going to be lemonade, but that'll come after the shake. So quick shake down. And we all know Cherry and Jack Daniels just works. Well, Jim, think Jim Beam Red Stag, you know, lovely jubbly. Right. So, hard and fast shake. There we go. Right, and then just to finish this off, I've just got some Schweppes lemonade. Could you Sprite if you wanted to? He says, Sprite. There we go. No right or wrong. I'm just going lemonade for this. Uh, I'm going, I'm going two ounces actually, 60 mil. Uh, so it's 50, 60. There we go. So this is our cherry lime limeade. If you're in a pub or bar, fresh ice. If you're at home, just pour that in there. Lovely, jubbly. Bit, of, bit more ice in there just to top that up. Top it with crushed ice. Let's say, if you use the cherry syrup or um, cherry puree, you'll obviously have a lot more vibrant color going in there. But this is That is just, that is so good. Here we go, garnish with a cherry on top. Just so I can have a spoonful of maraschino. Easy peasy. That is your cherry limeade. Right, the next one we're going for is the uh, the Southern Punch, punch this JD Southern Punch. Again, it's another highball serve. We're gonna shake it down. Let's just use that shaker. That's absolutely fine. That doesn't need much challenge. Right, um, slightly different ratios for this one for JD. Uh, so I'm going 30 mil, one ounce of JD in here. Now, next ingredient you want is some peach uh, liqueur. Couple of ways you could go. Uh, the obvious way for a lot of you is gonna be Archer's peach schnapps. I think in the US there is another different brand of Archer's or peach liqueur over there. Uh, but actually, in the UK, I really, really love this. Uh, this is JJ Whitley's, uh, so it's a vodka, 
but really banging of peach. Really, really love this. Peach and apricot vodka. So I'm just going kind of a little tweak on this. So again, 30 mil of... Uh, oh, it just smells lovely. Love this stuff. Oh, so essentially a peach, peach spirit, peach liqueur, whatever you've got. Uh, so I want some lime juice now. Uh, so I'm going 22 and a half, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice in there. Now the sugar, uh, I'm actually going to add a little bit of sugar because that is obviously, because it's a proper vodka, not as sweet as that. So I'm just going for a touch, just a little touch of sugar. You don't have to, adjust to taste. I'm going seven and a half mil. Uh, quarter of an ounce of sugar just to bring that out and then the final ingredient is some cranberry juice there we go uh, again this is up to you i'm going i'm going 60 mil two ounces you could dilute it a little bit more if you wanted to 75 mil maybe if you're in the uk or 90 mil three ounces whatever whatever i just i just think that's perfect for me that is right ice this up there we go and then just gonna shake this down proper proper welly again right i'll tell you what oh that peach those peach notes really come out of there if you're in a pub or bar fresh ice i always say it but if you're at home just use that ice let's not let's not get all pretentious about it let's just pour it in there just make sure I don't overflow it should be just about right yeah look at that didn't need to worry top out with a bit more ice another ice cube and then just a garnish maybe wedge of lime it's a big one just a wedge of lime and that is the JD uh, Southern Punch See, I needed that little bit of sugar just to bring that out. That is lovely, tangy, tart, refreshing. Mm. That's really good. Right, the third one I'm going for is the Lynchburg Lemonade. This is a doddle. I made this. I made this two or three times on this channel. Actually, really, really easy. Uh, Forty. It's essentially JD and lemonade, but with a couple of little twists in there. Uh, so, 45 ml, one and a half ounces of Jack Daniels. That's your first ingredient. Your second ingredient is your triple sec or Cointreau. Or you could use an orange curacao. Or, um, if you're watching this for the first time, that's my, which way, can we see that there? That's my uh, sort of Grand Marnier equivalent, Fortunella. Absolutely love that. But I'm going for uh, triple sec in this one. So 15 mil, half an ounce of triple sec. This is a bottle. This is an absolute breeze, but one of the best ways to enjoy JD. Uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice, uh, 15 mil, half an ounce. Uh, you definitely do need the sugar for this one. Again, 15 mil, uh, half an ounce of sugar. Lovely, jumply. Then obviously we're gonna, the lemonade comes after the shake, so we're just gonna properly shake this down. You know, do you really need to shake it? You don't have to. Mate, you could make it up in a highball and give it a good stir. It's not a problem. But we like a bit of theatre, don't we? we? We're entertaining people. We're trying to impress people. It's a hard fast shake. There we go. Right, and then we just need our lemonade or Sprite. Whatever, whatever you think. It doesn't matter too much. I'm just going lemonade. And I think uh, 45 ml, one and a half ounces will be perfect for this. If you want to go, uh, if you want to go more lemonade, fine, you know. Right, fresh ice in there if you're in, if you're a professional. If you're if you like me and you're at home, just pour that straight in there. Top up with a bit more ice. There we go, and then possibly garnish it with a bit of crushed ice, and then garnish. If you've want, got fresh lemon, you could do a wedge of lemon in there. I just like going a bit or different. I just love doing the dehydrated orange on my Lynchburgs. Right. 
So that is the Lynchburg Lemonade. Mm. That, as you can see, that goes down too easily. That's that. It's still one of my favourite ways to en enjoy Jack Daniels. Absolutely love that. Right. Uh, point of the video, where I just give big, massive shout out to my Patreons, my membership community, you legends, the Legends Club. Thank you very much. Uh, your names will be scrolling across the bottom of this video. Thank you for your love and support. Honestly, it means the world. Uh, basically, my membership, my, le uh, my Legends Club, is all about me trying to give back uh, as cheap as chips to monthly payments, but I try and give as much value as possible. I love to teach, I love to help, I love to educate. I'm always at the end of a DM or a message from you guys. Um, you can always download the free version of my cocktail book from in any video. You'll see the links in the description or in the comments. But uh, another perk is of the Patreon, you get my completely full updated monthly uh, cocktail book in there, exclusive content. I'll just start doing weekly podcasts in there as well. I just try and help out. So go and take a look at my Legends community. Right then, the uh, fourth JD one we're going to do is the Watermelon Punch. A couple of ways you could make this in the UK. Uh, I'm just going to go, I'm going for the not so obvious way for those of you that watch this channel. Um, I, and I say that because the obvious way would be using a product like that Watermelon Puree. You can get that easily through drink stuff in the UK. It's literally like eight or nine pound, and it's absolutely banging and vibrant of flavor. And I know it would work an absolute treat in this cocktail. However, uh, I'm going to try and cross the board on this one because what we're actually going to use for the melon is Midori in this, and I think that's much more accessible if you like. So, uh, cocktail shaker, this cocktail shaker it up. We are going for 45 ml of um, your JD, so one and a half ounces of that. Ingredient number two is um, the melon, Midori, pretty much worldwide. This, you know, and I think, and I know quite a few of you have got this because you keep sending me photos of your Key West coolers. So I do know. Right, uh, 22 and a half mil, um, three quarters of an ounce of melon. Lovely. Now, obviously, because of the watermelon, we kind of need to turn it uh, red. So I'm just going for a bit of grenadine in there. Uh, and I just want seven and a half mil, quarter of an ounce of grenadine. So we've got, it's gone red, look. You can see it's gone red. It's kind of give it, it's not like, and, and I know they don't actually use watermelon in their watermelon punch. They just, that's essentially that. Um, right, so uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I want 15 ml, half an ounce. There we go. And then sugar, again, is up to you. You've got that little bit of sweetness from the grenadine. I don't think you'll need any too much more sugar, if any, because that's quite sweet as well. Um, we've got lemonade or Sprite coming from the mixer. I don't think you need it, but if you want a touch more sugar, be my guest. So, just gonna shake this down. So plenty, plenty of ice. There we go, and then hard and fast shake. There we go. Oh, this is good. Melon notes on that. Right, and then we're going back for our lemonade. Let's just move these to one side. So back to our lemonade, and again, it's up to you, size of glass. I'm going 45 mil, one and a half ounces. If you want to do 60 mil, two ounces. Fine. There we go. Actually, let's let's do. I will go. Uh, I will go two ounces. There we go. There we go. Just to keep you all happy, as I say all the time, fresh ice. If you're in a pub or bar of your own, just do that. Oh, did run out of room? There we go. Perfect. Room for an ice cube, room for a second. <gasps> there we go. Right, and then to garnish that, I haven't actually got any, but if you do watermelon, obvious, your obvious garnish for that. Oh, that is fun, innocent. Strangely, does actually taste like watermelon. Very, very strangely, because of the grenadine and that. 
really bizarre. We're going to shoot with the line. And there we go. I really like that. Right then, your fifth and final one for this cocktail, for this video. Um, I'm going to do their berry punch. Again, there's another obvious way that this could be made for those of you who watch my videos regularly. We could go... Oh, it's the one I don't actually own. Uh, ODK have got a wild berry puree. It kind of mixes blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry, and a bit of strawberry together. We don't actually have it. But you could go purees. I've got strawberry, I've got raspberry, I've got blackberry. Uh, so you could go puree based for this. Absolutely fine. But again, I'm trying to be a bit universal. And obviously, I, I know quite a lot of you don't have purees. But a lot of you might have these ingredients for other cocktails. So, uh, cocktail shaker. Let's just use that one. That was my Lynchburg. There we go. Right. Uh, so, 45 mil of uh, JD in here. 45 mil, uh, one and a half ounces. Lovely, jubbly. Right. And then for the berry, I am going blackberry liqueur. So, creme de mur, think brambles. Uh, I don't know. Quite a lot of people have been making brambles. So, I know you'll have that. So, 15 mil, half an ounce of uh, blackberry there now i'm just going raspberry for this i think blackberry and raspberry that's me personally could go strawberry if you wanted to uh, and i'm just going this one it's a little bit um a little bit sweeter a little bit more vibrant than chambord which is a black raspberry liqueur not to be confused with blackberry because it's not it's black raspberry uh, and again 15 mil of this one and a half uh, half an ounce of that and then we can do that. Ooh. Um, sugar levels again is up to up to you. Does it need sugar? Maybe, maybe not. It's completely on you. This. Uh, I'm going 15 ml, half an ounce of lemon juice in there. I'm not going to add sugar to this. I'm going to try it without sugar. Uh, so obviously the, the mixer is going to be the lemonade again. So ice this down. Right, plenty of ice in there. Good, hard, fast shake. Right, that's nicely shaken down. Now we need our lemonade. I'm just gonna, it's a big glass. I'm gonna do uh, two ounces again, 60 mil. Okay, 50 and 60. Boom. Uh, if I didn't explain about the sugar, those liqueurs are quite sweet. Sorry if you didn't do the, the sort of jump into conclusions then. Those liqueurs, I don't know why I'm pointing and you can't see them, but these are quite sort of sweet liqueurs. So me personally, I don't think you need to add any more sugar, but hey ho, your palate is in charge, not me. So if you need more sugar, add more sugar. Right, fresh ice. If you're, if you're, if you're in a pub or bar, I'll stop saying that soon. And just pour that in there. Are we gonna run out of room? No, we should be perfect. Top it up with a bit of crushed ice. And then, as if by the magic of jump cutting, because I forgot to get them out of the freezer, I've got some frozen blackberries there. I completely forgot, I've got frozen cherries in I as well. So we've got a couple more frozen cherries on top of that one. So there we go, that is uh, the Jack Daniels Berry Punch. And as I say, if you, um, if you know what that downtown punch is, or downtown, whatever it's called, uh, drop me a line. I'll try and make that up as well. I kind of got my head around it, but I couldn't quite work out. It was different, different things kept saying, different recipes on it. So, right. Uh, in order. What have we got? What have we got? Uh, let's go through these. Uh, the cherry, nice and frozen cherry limeade. Uh, that is the southern punch. The Lynchburg lemonade, the watermelon punch, and the berry punch. Mm. Oh. oh, silence, silence is golden. I am going. Oh. Do you know what? I think I'm telling you, porky pies. I'm just gonna add a little bit more sugar to that. I didn't think I'd need the sugar. I've just added about 10 mil, 10 mil sugar. 
I think this will drastically alter. Yeah. Oh, see, that's changed the game now. That was going in fourth. But now, oh, I don't know. Def oh, one and two. Joint first, copping out. Joint first, joint second, <laughs> third. Mummy Barman's will be on screen and I'll see you in my next video.